In fact, Ahar Shastra says that if you're not eating ghee in this season, then you're Vaishakhanandan. Vaishakhanandan in Sanskrit, it means donkey. Hi, I'm Smita Shetty, a lifestyle nutritionist who marries modern science with ancient wisdom. I help my clients overcome lifestyle diseases and go pill free. In this series called as What's Your Concern? We are going to discuss various kinds of lifestyle diseases where we'll discuss who gets it, how does one get it, and what can be done to resolve it. This piece is going to come every Thursday, and I hope to see you there. So what's your gut saying? There's so much talk happening around gut. What is gut? Science says that anything from here, your food pipe down till you pass out your food, all that is gut. However, Ahar Shastra says that gut starts right from your lips. Anything that goes into your mouth becomes part of your gut health. Now, there's so much happening around gut health. What do you think? What is happening in your gut? So, it's said that we have bacteria in our gut. Guess what? How many bacteria do you think we have in our gut? Are you thinking? Are you thinking loud? Okay, from million, can you go a little ahead? From there, can you go to trillion? Yeah, it's around 40 trillion bacteria in our gut. Of course, with time, we are losing some. That's why you are becoming insensitive towards certain food and you're not feeling good. Now, what? how do you think that that gut uh, bacteria reaches our gut? It's through this beautiful soil. When your soil is enriched, which is full of uh, bacteria. Now, if our gut has around 40 trillion bacteria tell me how much do you think this much would have what do you think all right so this this much that is just this much which is almost like a spoon has around million of uh, bacteria so now when this is enriched your gut will be enriched what happens is that we do not focus on uh, eating right what does eating right mean? That eating directly from the soil, something which is so organic, so beautiful, which will ensure that your gut health is going good. So who do you think will get most affected with bad gut? Number one, if you are overthinker, if you're not handling your stress well, then your gut will get affected. Number two, if you're, if you're the ones who choose food on the go and pick it from the shelf and just put it in your mouth, definitely your gut with time is going to be bad. What does it mean that you'll not be able to digest a lot of food, you'll not enjoy what you're eating? Uh, what also it means that you know you're working, you're working endlessly without taking care of your food, your time, uh, your sleep, and your uh, water. Um, if you're not taking care of all of these things, then definitely your gut is going to be in bad state. Of course, exercise is major, major, major component. If you're minusing exercise and thinking that yeah, I'll start from tomorrow, I'll start from Monday, I will start next year, then it's not going to work. Make sure you're making it part of your life. Number one thing, ensure that you are including a lot of plants. Make sure you're, in, you're uh, picking up all the spices which is there in your kitchen. Of course, it should be seasonal food. It has to, the spice has to be based on the season. Like for example, right now, when it is too hot, you need to have spices like uh, jeera and uh, you know, you need to have spices like um, methi dana. Whereas if it is winter, then you will have more of mustard. So like that, all kind of spices can be categorized according to different seasons. Make sure that you're including it. Now, it's said that you need to have at least 40 different kind of plants um, in one week. Okay? So how are you going to make sure that I have to do so much work, I have to go to office, I have to cook, I have to eat, I have to sleep well. So while all, you are doing all this, how are you going to ensure that you are eating right? Most important is this that make a beautiful dabba of spices that will take care of you know, at least 8 of them. Then make sure that you are having nuts and your dry fruits. So if you get all of them together in one jar, then you have another 10. Then what you can do have different type of vegetables, again season based. Make sure that you are including those. Make sure that you are having fermented dairy. What does it mean? So fermented dairy is one of the best way to work with your gut bacteria. So uh, fermented dairy, mein kya hoga? Uh, you can have curd, you can have cheese, paneer, when it is done in a right way. Similarly, what you need to do is that have other fermented food as well, like pickle. 
we have india has like variety of pickle right from mango to nimbu to uh, you know bimbuli if you know what's bimbuli then we have uh, we have mixed vegetable achar to kisi ka bhi ban sakta so include that in your in your diet so that you know it works as symbiotic and make sure that your gut is growing beautifully if you're focusing on your gut health it starts from night routine make sure that after sunset your lights are dim it's not heavy uh, so that your body is able to release those hormones which is needed for your good sleep of course what you need to do is have dinner closer to the sunset journaling very very important because something is not happening good here and hence gut is also going crazy so make sure that you're journaling and figuring out what is happening last very important before you go to bed is gratitude ensure that you're offering gratitude to people around you things around you around you uh, everything everything it could be as simple as your hair right beautiful hair beautiful skin offer gratitude and before you go to sleep meditate how you're going to start your next day for next day ensure that you're waking up without an alarm if possible It's, you know in summer what you should definitely have is lot of ghee in fact ahar shastra says that if you're not eating ghee in this season then you're vaishakhanandan vaishakhanandan in sanskrit it means donkey i know it's very heavy i know it's very powerful but what it's trying to say is that in summer only fat which you should consume is ghee lot of ghee so that you are taken care in other seasons it depends on which season in which season you are having it if it's in summer you can have it with warm water if it's winter you can have it with dates you can have it with raisins also depending that what is it that you're looking for in your gut you can mix ghee with different uh, plant based and you can have with that what's most important part in all this that is that you know if your soil is happy your gut is going to be happy